Part 1 of the Introduction to Plato's Republic. This is the LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Part 1 of the Introduction to Plato's Republic. Translated by Benjamin Jowett. The Republic of Plato is the longest of his works, with the exception of the laws, and is certainly the greatest of them. There are nearer approaches to modern metaphysics in the philibus and in the sophist. The politicus, or statesman, is more ideal. The form and institutions of the state are more clearly drawn out in the laws. As works of art, the symposium and the protagoras are of higher excellence. But no other dialogue of Plato has the same largeness of view and the same perfection of style. No other shows an equal knowledge of the world or contains more of those thoughts which are new as well as old. common with other animals and with plants, mankind have a natural desire to leave behind them an image of themselves, and of a natural ruler and subject, that both may be preserved. For that which can foresee by the exercise of mind is by nature intended to be lord and master, and that which can with its body give effect to such foresight is a subject, and by nature a slave. Hence master and slave have the same interest. Now nature has distinguished between the female and the slave. and not of one age only, but of all. Nowhere in Plato is there a deeper irony, or a greater wealth of humor, or imagery, or more dramatic power. Nor in any other of his writings is the attempt made to interweave life and speculation, or to connect politics with philosophy. The Republic is the center around which the other dialogues may be grouped. Here philosophy reaches the highest point, to which ancient thinkers ever attained. Plato among the Greeks, like Bacon among the moderns, was the first who conceived a method of knowledge, although neither of them distinguished the bare outline or form from the substance of truth, and both of them had to be content with an abstraction of science which was not yet realized. He was the greatest metaphysical genius whom the world has ever seen, and in him, more than in any other ancient thinker, the germs of future